All right, so here we are. Um, this is um, Parallels Workstation running uh, Windows 98. Um, the host computer is Windo Windows Vista with um, four gigabytes of RAM and just um, a 1.83 gigahertz dual core in Intel processor. So as you can see here, I'm just going to hit um, go up on the machine and start the machine by hitting the play button. It's right up there. It will load the uh, BIOS, and here we go with the operating system. You can see in the bottom right hand corner the uh, hard drive um, light, the artificial hard drive light, as it boots up. I'm not going to be able to get it on the internet because I just installed it. I did not configure it for the ethernet to work yet, so I'm going to get that next. You can see two mouses. There's one when I put my... Um, mouse for the real computer in the box without clicking on it it still it shows too but when I click on it the real mouse goes away and the fake mouse stays so there we go I just logged in and here's a little, this is the second time I started it so it still is giving me this uh, welcome message thing so I'm just going to check get rid of that click close so the first thing I'm going to do is open up paint for you guys as you can see the menus cascade kinda fancy for the time I guess <laughs> so I'm gonna open up show you I hear some more things there I'm gonna open up paint it's gonna load really quickly obviously maximize that here oh there we go and just draw a few lines you know screw around and you could die use the die tool to uh, fill in something oh undo and spray paints pretty cool this was pretty much kids' picks for adults, I guess. And it's still around today. Paint's a lot of fun if you're really bored. And your quad-core computer that normally you play Crisis on is broken. That's the only time you might want to go to paint. And your internet's down. I'll try to go to an online game. All right, whatever. Close out of this. Don't save. Nobody wants that. You can see you can just drag and drop like usual, you know. Open up my computer. Eh, whatever. Put that back. There we go. There's a hard drive, floppy drive, C drive, or D drive actually, it's a CD drive though. Web folder. This I did not get properly configured yet, but pretty much it will just allow you to have, um, what's it called? I guess storage space online in the link that you just click on. Okay. Oh, whatever. It didn't do HTTP. It just did HTTPO, which is not correct. Ethernet is configured anyway, so that would not work. So let me go into my documents, and we're going to create a new, um, <coughs> pardon me, WordPad um, document. Just call it test, whatever. Open it up here. It's Windows 98 WordPad. It's cool. Make it big. Maximize it. Just a uh, bigger font. I'm sorry. I'm typing with one hand right now, so please excuse it. Here's my website. I would love if you would go to it and place an order, ask a question, whatever you want. Let's make it bold and underline. Yeah, typing with one hand is kind of leads to screwy results. Yeah, and I apologize for the clipping of this video. Um, the start menu kind of got... The toolbar down there kind of got all cut off, but oh uh, well. You can still kind of see what's going on. Yeah, so there's my website. Go to it, please. There'll be a... <coughs> pardon me, there'll be a link in the... Um, show, notes, show notes, or whatever you want to call it, over there to the right of this video. And if you would... 
continue watching my uh, my channel. Um, keep watching my channel, you know, put some more cool videos, hopefully a little more interesting than this, because this was just Windows 98, not too interesting, so stay on by, I actually, uh, we're going to have a video review of the Acer Aspire 1 with the uh, hard drive and the um, 6 cell battery and the unboxing, I'll let you know how that goes, so thanks a lot for watching, good day.